Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, obviously last episode, I died. Not my proudest moment, but I've done a decent job recovering. I have some iron armor and iron tools all enchanted with low-level enchants, like level 1 and 2 and all that. So, got some pretty good stuff. Got some baked potatoes now for a food source, that's always good. Lots of torches, as always needed. Um, that's about it, though. Um, I can't think of any... Oh, yeah. Got some blaze rods. Some ender pearls. And, um... Basically, it, that's gonna be used for finding a stronghold, but... What I do still need is netherrack. And, you know, I did find another fortress. Unfortunately, I have no idea where it is now. So, I had to go find another one, and let me tell you, It took forever and a day to find that nether fortress, so... I'm just gonna basically just go right there. Um, don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, let me in. Thank you. And basically, the way I found it was probably the least efficient way to do it. Um, I basically branch mined to find it. I dug in one direction seemingly forever, and it literally goes on for thousands of blocks. So I'll take you a for a quick little run down the tunnel, but I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that because there's no reason you should have to watch me running down a tunnel in the nether for hours because it would probably take half the episode just to get there and basically I just took where we branched mined out all that quartz and I went this way and just to just because I'm curious I w what I want to do for fun is just um, I want to see how many baked potatoes I have to use to get down this thing And, see, as you can see, it just goes on and on. It goes on and on and on and on. Yeah, it's not a journey song, though. And I screwed that up at the end. So, I will make a cut here while I finish. Um, keep in mind, my baked potato count is at 25. So, I will come back to you when I am at the Nether Fortress. So, I'll see you in a little bit. And I'm back, everyone. As you can see, I used nine baked potatoes, which might not seem like a lot, but keep in mind, each baked potato gives me three to the hunger bar, so that's about 27 hunger just to get here. And I noticed while I was on my way here, I made a fatal flaw, and that is I didn't bring any blocks. See? No blocks. Although a zombie pigment like, died to my tunnel along the way somewhere, so I picked this up. So, yay for gold nuggets, but... Yeah, part of the reason I didn't bring blocks is because I went branch mining three times for hours each time just to get this amount of stone. The first two times I thought I'd have enough, but I didn't. So the third time I had to make sure i go extra, and I basically, I didn't make the entire tunnel out of stone, but I did most of it, and part of it's because I need stone for other things besides wasting. So I probably should have brought some blocks and... That is one of the fundamental flaws of going to the nether. And another thing, real quick, that I want to point out. I didn't bring any of my diamond gear, so that way if I die, this stuff is easily replaceable. Well, except for maybe all the torches. I mean, they're easily replaceable, but I don't want to have to do that. So let's... This is like the bottom portion of the nether fortress. Okay, we don't want to go up there. So we want to go in one more... I just want to make sure that I don't, like, fall into lava somewhere. So I'm just gonna... Am I looking at that right? Yeah, I am. Okay. And I just kind of want to make a staircase up, and... Nope. <laughs> Not going out there. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Yeah, this nether fortress is right above lava. That's why I don't want to even take a chance going to the outside like that. So I'm just gonna make a staircase to kind of get us up... Let's get this out of here. And I guess we're almost there, right? Kinda. There, let's get a torch so you guys can see a little bit better. You guys could probably see better than I can because I don't have this in full screen mode. And when I don't have it on full screen mode and I'm in another fortress, it's really difficult for me to see. But oh well. We are almost to the top, I would presume. 
And I'm just going to put torches at these corners now. I know I didn't do that down below, but that's okay. Well, did it just lag? Normally I have like frame rates of 120 frames per second, but... Oh, there's my tunnel. And... Are we there yet? I thought I was higher up when I made that tunnel. Guess not. Okay. Almost. I really thought I was higher up. Okay, I'm high now, but I'm just not high enough. But no matter, we shall persevere. And one of the things I wanted to talk about today was um, channel views. I use this site called Social Blade, you might have heard of it, and it's supposed to keep track of your YouTube stats, and for the most part it does a really good job, and sometimes it's even better than YouTube at doing that. But one thing that's been really strange to me is that my channel views have been zero for over a week straight, and I'm pretty sure that's not true, because I know people who have viewed my channel in that time, and I believe them when they say they've done it. So I just want to ask you guys, Go give my channel a view and leave a comment if you viewed my channel. I mean, normally I don't ask for this kind of stuff, but I just want to just see if it's a bug in the website or if I'm really just not getting channel views. Because if I'm not getting channel views, I can try to, you know, do something so that, uh, so that it would attract more people to my channel, I guess. Because the channel views are important. I think that's a pretty big, uh, indicator, I guess, on if you're going to be partnered or not. Oops, can't fill a hole with a potato. <laughs> so, channel views are important to me just because, um, oh, here we are. Awesome. And we are in the nether fortress. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's go for some nether wart. And that is something we don't want to do, so I'm going to I'm take a risk when I'm shifting, and I'm pretty sure this is safe. A good strategy to get rid of these lava things is to go where the lava is flowing, dig one block down, patch it off like this, and then once this lava goes away, which I'm going to have to help it go away because lava takes forever and a day to go away. Uh, is that going to do it? Please. Uh, I'm going to have to fill in all this. But basically what that's going to do for us, that'll just be there. So... I can kind of... It, it just basically makes it safe for us. Okay. So yeah, hopefully we'll find some nether wart in here. Need that to make potions so I can fight the ender dragon without dying. And now when I remove these, it should... Yep, doesn't spread out because it's still flowing down. So that's a pretty helpful trick that I like to use. Um, I learned it from Etho. He didn't specifically tutorial it or anything, but I just watched his videos a lot, and I noticed he did that, and it works out very well, so... Figured, you know what, I'm going to try that out. Works very well. So, let's go in here. Probably don't need that light there, but I'm going to put it there anyway, just to kind of mark where I've gone. And those are nether brick stairs, so I can't put lights down there. And I'm going to be putting lights down often. They're basically kind of... What in the world is this? Is this just messed up generation? I don't know what this is. But one thing we do have to watch out for is wither skeletons. Um... They're very dangerous, because they can wither you. Hence the name. But, oh, this is... What the heck? Well, that was... That was definitely a valuable use of our time. Um, let's go this way. Oh, blaze! So, this is literally Hell's Blazes right here. Oh, it's not good, not good. Come on. Okay, there. I just gotta kind of just take it easy and wait to recover. It's probably gonna be more spawning. Um, this is probably... Yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere. But I'll take the nether rack just so I can make nether brick out of it, because nether brick's pretty cool. Decent for building. Did I go down here? No. Where did I come from? Whatever. I'm going this way now. Down to the depths of the nether fortress. Not that far down, though. I have a feeling this kind of just loops around. Um, 
nice. Okay. Not going out that way. So these are kind of like a trial and error type thing, and if you're wondering about the nether fortress I found earlier, it was horrible. The entire thing generated inside the wall of the nether, so it was basically all nether rack, and it was hard to get around, and there was like nothing in it besides a few blazes where I got the blaze rods from. Like, there were the spawners still, but I just grinded the spawners and got blaze rods from it, which is awesome because now I can make a brewing stand. And also I can nether wart. Oh yeah. This just made my day. It literally made my day. Yes. And we shall take the soul sand so we can have something to grow the nether wart on. Back at home. Watch out, nether brick stairs. You know what? I'll take this one out too, just so I have two. So if I ever need nether brick stairs for anything, I got it. Oh yeah, nether wart. Baby. 22, it's pretty good. But, why stop it? Whoa. This is not safe. I'm getting back in here. Oh, and 1.5, you can sprint upstairs. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys knew that, but you can now. I had a hard time sprinting down the stairs, actually. I don't know if you can sprint downstairs, but you can definitely sprint up them. Then again, I suppose if you really wanted to sprint down the stairs, why would you? Why wouldn't you just jump down the stairs or fall down the stairs? Oh. oh. We don't want any of this in our life right now. Go sharp the sword. I'm gonna just kind of peek out. I feel like this is ultra hardcore all over again. Die. Except if this was ultra hardcore, I'd be dead a long time ago. I actually do want to play that mod, but... It'd be pointless because I have no one else to play with. It's a really cool thing. Oh yeah, block both of those. Well, not block, but when you block with a sword, it just reduces the damage. It doesn't actually block the attack. To my knowledge, anyway. So, we have had an awesome trip to the nether, which is a... That's rare. Okay, that doesn't happen often. So, let's try to... I guess I didn't go this way yet, so I'll go this way. Hopefully find some more nether wart. Yeah, that actually looks like more nether wart. Awesome. This is sweet. Nether wart for days, baby. So I don't know if you guys have been um, following the Ultra Hardcore series that the Minecrackers are doing, but if you don't, I recommend it. It's really awesome. Um... You could probably just uh, search on YouTube, um, Mindcrack UHC Season 9, because that's the season they're on. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, obviously, but it's... Oh, there's something back here. Cool. Uh, and it goes to nowhere. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not going give, to give away any spoilers, but I've I love this series. It's so awesome, and... It's my first um, Ultra Hardcore series that I've been up to date with. The other ones I've watched, but I haven't... Uh, I didn't. I never watched them when they were actually being made. And I think I came from... Where did I come from? Ooh, I heard a magma cube. I don't know where he is, though. He's probably not in here. Um... Oh, no, he's down here, I think. I def oh, yep, there he is. Magma Cube. You shall die. You shall die. I need your Magma Cream. I got some. And here's a helpful hint. If you... I don't know if you guys know this. Some of you might. But you can actually make Magma Cream with a slime ball and some blaze powder. And magma cream is very awesome because it's uh, used to make fire resistance potions, um, many of which can be used to help you swim through lava, or lava for Canadian. I'm sure they don't all call it lava, but I know Etho does, and I've heard um, I've heard some other Canadian call it lava. Who knows? Maybe it is lava. Maybe maybe us Americans are just saying it wrong. Okay, um, 
Well, this wouldn't be a very successful trip if I got lost, so I I don't know exactly where I am. This isn't very good. Um, okay, this seems to be the right direction. I hear another magma cube, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get him. Unless he's, like, right here. Yeah, that just looped around, so... <sighs> um, I'm going to try to keep this episode a reasonable length. Uh, what I want to do is, um, I might go back, I'm not sure yet, but I think we're about 15 or so minutes, okay, yeah, we're going back, this, because I remember this, gotta avoid that, watch out, and I'm just gonna take the other paths for now, I know I com didn't really completely explore this, but, ooh, mushrooms, I don't know why mushrooms grow in the, whoa, grow in the nether, that was weird, I just kind of, my character kind of freaked out there. Oh, and hunger low. More baked potatoes. This is my favorite food source in the game. It used to be steak, but now these are much easier to get than steak because you can grow them. I mean, I guess technically you can grow steak, but it's a lot less maintenance than baked potatoes. Magma cube! This is the first time I've found two magma cubes in the nether. Oh, wither skeleton! Get out of here, man. Skull? No. Maybe that's... Oh, why can't I move? Um, my mouse is uh, not working. Um, come on, mouse. <laughs> Don't fail me now. Um, uh, this isn't good. Die. Oh, no. Um, stand by, please. I gotta make a quick pause. Okay, I'm back. I, I fixed the problem. That was embarrassing. Um, let's see, how are we doing on magma cream? No more, but I don't think I finished them off yet. But I do need another sword, which thankfully I have. Sharpness 1 iron. Another uh, helpful hint, a sharpness 1 iron sword is equivalent to a regular diamond sword. So what I was going to say before I got rudely interrupted by my mouse being a jerk... I should start looking for uh, wither skulls. Not that I'll ever really need them anytime soon, but they're hard to get. Ouch, that wasn't necessary. And finding the wither would be awesome. It'd be so fun. And I actually want to do something that's I think's a pretty cool idea. And this is probably not the safest place to camp out. Um. Oh, there's two spawners. I am making this a blaze farm. I don't know if you guys seen a blaze farm before, but they're really awesome. I am making that a blaze farm. That is sweet. And I haven't gone this way yet. And let's go straight. Looks like it leads to a dead end, though, unfortunately. Um, what I want to do is I want to try to make a wither in the nether. I mean, not in the nether. I want to make a wither in the end. And I want to see if he'll fight the ender dragon, or if that's even possible. Some of you may know if it's possible or not, but I've never tried it, so that's probably going to be absolutely insane. I haven't seen it done before, but although it probably has been done before, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, that, that'd that be pretty awesome, I think. Wait, why? Okay, that's just... I'm seeing things. I thought I saw, like, a different kind of nether brick, which doesn't exist, which obviously isn't what I saw. Okay gotta go this way and it might seem like I'm lost I'm not I'm not too lost um, although I am looking side to side and I know these are dead ends but I just wanna oh blaze spawner I just wanna kinda make sure I know that I've been there so I don't try to go exploring it again and whoa that's not safe oh blaze hell's blazes ha where'd he go Oh, you crafty little devil. <laughs> oh, I was trying to do like a around the corner jump shot, just like, oh yeah, oh, they're, they're coming, <laughs> run. But yeah, he just went up through the ceiling and I was like, what, where'd he go? He's a sneaky ninja blaze. And let's go this way. And let's go this way. 
right? This is the way it came out? Yeah. Seems like it. Maybe. Yes, yes, this is definitely the way. Um, I don't know if I should head home soon. This will, oh, by the way, this is probably going to be my last episode in the nether. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll come back here if necessary, but, like, you know, to get wither skulls, but I don't know if you want me to record that. Man, this is dangerous stuff. I almost ran right off there. Take that, sucker. You lose. So yeah, I'm not going back to the nether anymore. I don't like it, even though, because, you know, this has been such a successful trip. I want it, I want my experiences in the nether to end on a high note. Don't want them to be like, oh, I remember last time I went to a nether, the gas blew up the floor underneath me and I fell into lava and died. Yeah, that's not a very good way to remember your nether experiences and or adventures. And he's trying to do it again. But you know what? That's not going to happen because he can't blow up nether brick. Um, let's go this way. And these are all dead ends. Which is fine by me because that means I explored probably 90% of the nether fortress. And let me tell you, that was a pretty good trip to the nether. In my standards, anyway. You guys have probably had much better trips, but 48 nether board, that's pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to have to set up a farm somewhere for that at home. And I'll start heading back now, and once I get to the tunnel, which is going to be really soon, I'll make a cut and we'll go back home. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. I actually am. Normally I don't like going to the nether, but I'm I'm actually having a good time. It's a successful trip. There's really nothing to complain about. Let's get this out of here. So I will take the long journey back, which takes literally like five minutes just running fat full speed. So I'll be back with you when we get home. So see you in a little bit again. Alright, I am back home and I want to show you a little something I did. Whoa. Jump right through the nether portal, and this is going to be our nether, nether hack farm. Our nether wart farm. I know it looks pretty ugly right now, but trust me, I'm going to fix it up once I have... I mean, look at this pick. It's the only pick I have left, and it's about to break. There's no way I could fix this all up. So I'm just going to kind of do something like this, and I might make the walls all uh, nether brick, and I'll make it look like the nether. So that'll be a future project. I just wanted to show you a little something I did, and reason why I didn't go all out on it now is because I didn't want the episode to take too long. And didn't want it to take too long for me to make the episode, so that way y'all have um, a lot of time to watch it on this fine Saturday. Um, well, right now it's the morning, but it'll probably be afternoon by the time you're watching this, so... Afternoon. Maybe. <laughs> and I figured, you know what? This has been such a good episode, why not end it off on an enchant? I mean, I do have 41 levels from branch mining all the time. Um, so, as you can see... Oh, and by the way, I found 9 emeralds while branch mining, which was awesome. I loved that. We're not going to use those yet, though. That's going to be for some other future project. Um, we do have lots of resources, though. And, actually, I found that lapis in there while mining and this coal while mining. Still haven't used that stuff yet, but I'm going to make... Um, the TNT and whatnot into um, fireworks so we can do a cool little fireworks show and I'm not organizing everything yet because you know it doesn't need to be done on camera at least I don't think it does you guys probably don't need to see that either um, there we go just want to get this enchant done don't want to take up too much time and hopefully it'll be a good one I think I left some torches on the uh, uh, on the books, the bookcases. So that'll be good to get a few more torches. And I left the door down. Why did I do that? It's like leaving the seat down. But it's not a seat. Anyway, um, let's see what we get today. Is today our lucky day? Oh, yeah. Today is our lucky day. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. That is amazing. Oh, sweet. I am... I am so happy about today. This is complete success. Complete success, baby. So, I'm afraid that's it for today. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, please leave a like if you liked it, and um, subscribe to me if you haven't done that already, because I will be posting videos daily, as much daily as I can get. So that's pretty, pretty dang consistent. I think I've done every day for about a month and a half now, something like that. So again, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye everyone.